Hi, welcome to the how to make a bibliography video. In the new word, there are options to make a bibliography that make it quite easy, yet also powerful and correct. If you are trying to impress your English teacher or any other teacher who requires you to cite your sources, which would be all of them. In your Word document, if you want to make a bibliography or to cite your sources, you first have to navigate to the References pane. Here you'll find a little book icon marked Citations. Clicking that opens up your Citations window. If you are adding a new citation, what you need to do is click this little plus button at the bottom and say I wanted to cite Ridley College uh, Wikipedia page. Please take caution though, if you are citing Wikipedia, please make sure that it is an acceptable and appropriate source for whatever you're using. Wikipedia is a wonderful tool, you can learn many things from it, and it's a great place to start research, but please make sure that it is appropriate for the style of writing in which you are engaging. Alright, so, let's say for the Ridley College Wikipedia page, here it is. Let's assume that Mr. Kidd wrote it. So, Mr. Kidd. The name of the web page and the name of the website. These are two distinctly things that we, distinct things that we commonly interchange. So the name of the overall website is Wikipedia. The name of the web page is Ridley College. So the individual page on Wikipedia is Ridley College, but the overall website is Wikipedia. The URL is the web address. So I'm going to copy that and put it in here. The year, month, and day refer to the year, month, and day that the site was created. On Wikipedia, you can just read the view history, navigate to the oldest, and we can assume that the first version that was viewed was about when the page was created. So this is on December 20th, 2005. So year, 2005, month, December, day, 20th. Year accessed, that is today, we are accessing today. So 2015, September 25th. I uh, don't know the editor, short title, or comments. If you have access to these informations, please include it. Otherwise, uh, you can leave them blank. Then I hit OK. You may notice that this appeared. If you're creating a new citation, a bracketed inline citation will appear wherever your cursor was. If you are referencing the same source in a different spot, you can just put your cursor, double click on the citation you want, and it will appear all properly formatted. Currently, I have this set to APA format, a format that is commonly used in the sciences, but you can also choose Chicago MLA or Turabian. Many social sciences and English courses will require you to use MLA. Now that I've done that, I've got my citation in, I want to include a bibliography. So to make a bibliography, it's even easier. If you've built up your database of citation sources, you can click then on the bibliography button up in your references list, and then click on bibliography. You will then get a properly formatted with all their proper brackets, order of things, punctuation, italicization, all of those things will be included and properly formatted in your bibliography. If you're using another surface, uh, service, you might not get uh, the same results. So this is a powerful tool. I recommend my students use it, and it ends up giving you a more customizable and higher quality bibliography output at the end of your work. It's also easy to build this citation library as you are going through and doing your research, and then you won't ever lose the information. One other thing to warn you of, you do need to include citation information for pictures. And if you're doing a Google, uh, an image search on Google, you'll get a search string that references this particular search that you did. This is not the source of information. You would then have to go and visit the actual page that the picture came from in order to get 
that information. Now I know that the author is Wayne Adam. The original development of the site was 2004. You're currently viewing it in 2015. So please make sure that you don't cite Google image search search strings in your bibliography. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps with your next project.